Aqua Arian. Welcome into your spiritual nourishment. I am your shaman empress, aka the shaman hummingbird, Aqua Arian. Let's go ahead and get you a message. Let's get in your business. Let's see what you need to know. Let's see what is going on with you guys. All right. Now, you guys know my messages are timeless, so whenever you are seeing and receiving this message, Aqua Arian, that's when you are supposed to see it. The energy is fluent and it will fluctuate back and forth in this reading between you and your person, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node energies, any third party energy, it will be Sun, Moon, and Rise in my life. My honeybees and my honey bears, you know, I call all the shots. We don't kill. <laughs> Y'all know I'm trying to work on some things. Okay. All right. So there's going to be some things that you need to be uh, cautious. Have caution on. Look at this. The devil card. Balancing back and forth with this person. This is someone here. Aqua area not going to have a very toxic trait or behaviors. This is also someone here that I showed it when it comes to some money. Damn it. I'm so pissed off. You could be going through this with this person, but there's more to come. There's more. Child, there's more you're going to need to know. The devil card. Hmm. Some of you guys could have just scratched your nose. Something about your nose. Um, this even could be because of allergies. Maybe you just rubbed your nose. This person also could be, um, I say just coming out, have allergies um, or something like that. Deals with allergies, the person you're connecting to. Messages for um, Aquarius, all my beautiful universe and Holy Spirits. Thank you so much. All right, right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's some. You might be walking away from someone when you find something out. Long these two, it said boom, boom. Yeah, yeah. The hermit child, you about to go go. Someone here could be about to go shoot Aqua Arian. All right, someone here. So the hermit, it went like this. Yeah. This could be happening this new moon energy, which is um. Tomorrow, which is Friday. What is here? Yeah. Oh, eight of Cups. This could be you or this person. There, there's something that's toxic here. All right. Um, yeah, someone here. Uh, Scorpion, Virgo energy. You could be connecting to the water benders, Cancerian, Piscean, and Scorpion. Seven of Cups. Someone wants a new start. They're weighing out their options here. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. And this is, yeah, this is ghosting energy. This is someone that's been doing this. This is someone here that is um, doing this behind your back here with the Hermit energy. All right. Uh, plan on ghosting this whole situation. This person could be um, Aquarian, Piscean, a Scorpion, like I said. Any of the waterbenders here? This person has been thinking about this for some time now. Here. This is also someone that could have been shutting off um, distance, making things distance between you and them, making an uh, um, excuse of why they can't come around, why they're busy all of a sudden. It's because they are either walking away. They could also be dating. This is also someone that could have already found someone um, that they're dating already are connected to someone that they are dating. Now, for some of you guys, um, seahorses mate for life. So, this is someone that you could have felt like this was going to last long. Some of you guys could have also just ate some popcorn. And somebody here um, has a Rubik's Cube. Uh, some of you guys got solar lights. In the trees as well in your home or by your house. Or you still um, have your Christmas tree lights up. Who got these damn Christmas tree lights? You be decorating around your house. And you keep the lights up all year. Now, for some of you guys, you're having issues with your front door. Does it keep blowing open or something? You need to get your lock fixed. Or something like that. Or this is going to happen. Or maybe you think your um, your door is closed and it's going to blow open. 
That's your confirmation. This is also you coming in the door, trying to close the door, and it blows back open. Confirmation. That is spirit trying to connect with you. To let you know that this person could be um, not something they, they're toxic. This can also be someone that's codependent. This can also be something that they do. Full moon energy, like I said. No moon this weekend. Friday. There it is, right? The moon. Something here is about Earth Day. You could participate in Earth Day. This could be um, something that, you know, Earth Day is where you clean up around the neighborhood. You know, you give, you lift up the vibration of the Earth. Shout out to my Earth Witches, right? Because that is a way of lifting up vibration. You can also give out present or mugs. Or maybe you got a mug that say Earth Day on it. Or when people help or something like that is here is what I'm seeing. I'm picking up as well. If, if you got okay if you guys just saw a black cat this is your confirmation significance into black cats now someone here also has a has wear glasses but keeps like a, a short beard that you're connected to there's another um person here someone wears their dreads but they keep it braided up or in a ponytail this could be to crinkle it or to keep it crinkly this hitman has a nice grade of hair i'm also talking to a couple with two ethnic backgrounds this could be african american and caucasian it could be white and caucasian it could be both geese and italian all right let's see now who be driving and drinking with this car okay I'm going to need y'all to understand. Somebody is riding around drinking. You just got this slushy with the drinks from the get. Who went to the gas station and got one of them little drinks and is driving? Okay. No. All right. I'm done. All right. Y'all. Aqua area. <laughs> what is going on in this street? Because I can't. Oh, my gosh. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, but I know what to tell you. We got the Ten of Wands. Yeah, uh, uh there's a lot of pressure. Someone here could be an EMT or a paramedic. Yep, the fool. Uh-uh. 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 The Page of Wands. All right. Now, before we get any deeper, let's go ahead and get you a um angel number. We got 7801 so far, guys. Okay, so this angel numbers connects to the field of personality development, creativity. It says that you're, this is the way you express your personal growth. I told you. Um, also, the feeling Olga gets from angel number 701 is stress, emptiness, and infatuation. Wow. Um. This is what Spirit has been trying to warn you about this person's toxic behaviors. This person has a very um, way of expressing herself. You will find this in a light way with communicating with them. This is one of the reasons that made you fall in love with the person. But this is what, is what also this person uses when they're separating from somebody. Very creative, very um, different. Um, you wouldn't see it. You wouldn't recognize it. This could be how... Now, Aqua Area, and this might be you, honey, because you know we know about you, baby. And it's see, so that's the thing. That's why I love Aqua Areas because it gives off... Um, a lot of you guys um, get the wrong kind of um, impression. Because Aqua Area, and this is you... Someone here could have tried to uh, confuse you, all right, or got you effed up. And now you, you know, whatever. So this could be you about to go somewhere. Because <laughs> Uncle Aaron, you'll go somebody real quick, okay? So put it where it where it goes. Now, whoever's at EMT, you might stop and um, get you a Starbucks every morning, or you do when you can on the mornings you can get it. Coffee of some sort. I just heard Dunkin' Donuts. Okay. This is how this person does things, take chances. It's really, it's almost, that's what they say though, right? 
um, people that are very creative when they cut people off. This person has a very creative, artistic way of expressing themselves. This is someone that also could be into art. This is also someone at time that you could find um, immature. There could be an age difference between you and this person, or this is immaturity. Okay. When this type of person, um, someone here kind of looks for somebody before they make a move on, they could have, um, you know, um, that could also be part of their creative expression with breaking up with somebody. If they'll just hold on to somebody until they find somebody new. Ace of Cups. Some of you guys could have just ate an uh, ice cream float or something with cherry or strawberries in it. Some of you guys could work, work close to a diner. But this is how this person expresses theirself. This is also someone that will be like, you know, oh, well, I know you didn't have time that week. That's okay. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a good thing that we're cool, right? You know, we're dating other people. Damn and you it, like, it, wait it, a it, minute, it, what? Yeah, like 10 of ones, the full card. Like, they will lay this pressure on you very sneaky before they totally walk away and cut this off. Well, you already knew I was I was dating. Remember, I mentioned that, you know, um, you never have time. You know, I said, and you're like, well, you know, I didn't think you were serious. You joke so, you know, it's their creative how they speak. And it's like, no, I was serious. They were serious. Why are you surprised? You know, oh, okay, well, you're busy, right? I guess we'll talk about it later. This is someone that throws jabs. This is someone that that can also be smart. Smart. Now, others of you guys, I do see you meeting someone new. All right. For some of you guys, you got a lot of options around you coming in when it comes to your love life, Aquarian, as well with the Ace of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Okay. All right. If you're on here for someone old, if you're on here for someone new. Um, here, but just notice this is someone that you're meeting that um has options and if they they this person yeah this person here the, the problem with this person is they um this person is very immature if this is someone new this is why you either you're going to ghost this person or they're going to ghost you there's no pentacles here this person doesn't um allow t their relationships doesn't hold water there's no growth to them. Yeah, ding, ding, that's your confirmation because there's something here that they have to learn when it comes to their growth. And they play mental games. There's no swords here and there's no pentacles. For some of you guys, to be honest with you, yeah, it, it might be um, like a burden off your mental in your time and effort with this person. You know, God's rejection is God's protection. At first, it may not seem like it. Some of you guys like, um, like orchids, or you could have just saw a purple orchid, or you plant orchids, or bulb flowers. You know, with the bulb, they're like circular, and you plant them in spring. Something like that is here about this person. Yeah, uh-uh. See, Ten of Swords and the Eight of Wands. For some of you guys, this is someone that's going to put you on car block. Oh, child. Okay, make it up. Hold on. Yes, um, Aqua Area. So that is your confirmation. Someone here also um, is going to try to, like, block you. Yeah. Mm -mm. They're going to change their number. Yep. Damn. <sighs> yeah. Yep. All right. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, they're going to ace of one and the five of cups. Someone here. Yeah. All right. Um, This is someone here. I don't know. Let's see what is going on. Tell me more about the hermit. Why is the hermit here? Oh, gosh. Yeah, honey. Mm-mm. Oh my gosh! They're toxic. 
This is someone, yeah, see, they need healing. This is also someone that Devil Core and Aqua area, and this is you, uh, Aqua area. You might be talking to a Capricorn. Like I said, this might be you. Look at this. The Chariot and the Sun. The Two of Wands is here, and the Seven of Wands. Hear that blocking go. Yeah, the Four of Swords. This is a lot. Yeah, there is. There go that ace of eight of cups. So this is the thing. Okay, so it's the or it could be the arguing, the fighting, and a disappointment. Someone here, it's like um, I, I, it's someone here is mad about the time. Someone here is mad about not getting time, not getting communication. This is also someone that could be a little bit immature about it. Five of Wands. A little bit of immature, the fighting and the arguing. It's like, look, you know, you might be, okay. So if there is an age difference between you and this person, okay, because we have a page and a night, all right? Both of you guys could be young in spirit as well. Um, they might under not understand your love language. You're like, you know, I'm doing all of this. I have to do this. You know, I'm on the move. That's why you're not getting, um, you know, the pentacles or the swords because I am work, you know, something like here. Their love language is time. They won't, they want, they understand that as love. How many times do you turn on TV and you see only soap operas all the time, like Jerry Springer, for example, rest in peace, Jerry, right? But anywho. Um, well, you're always at work. You're never around. You're never here. You know, you know, there's no pentacles. Um, this and that. Boom, boom, boom. He was there. I met someone new. They gave me options. They showed me love. And that's what happened. And now, you know, I'm, I want to, I like, like, that's what it is. And someone here, they feel like they want to connect with this person. They like what this person do to them. They know it wasn't right. Um, here. They know they're not right. They know they ain't right. But this is someone here that, you know, they're, they, they're just, it's like it's an immature way of love. It is. It is. I got to say it is because it's like, you know, I, I'm, I, I just feel like, I, I don't want to pro project my energy out on anyone here, but I feel like when somebody is, I uh, have to make sacrifices to make things meet, other things suffer. And right now, you know, getting things balanced out in life is very, very um, triggering here. And someone here just doesn't, you know, understand that. I, I just heard your person. Someone here says, I still have needs. So this person could be, have said that to you. Well, I still have need. Yep. They need us your confirmation. All right. And this person could be like, I understand all that awkward area, but I still have needs. I still need some ass. Like, something like that. Damn it. You don't have the time for me. Or this is you. Let's see what else is going on here. What's the ten of wands? Someone here feels like there's no time being spent with their kids. There's, you know, they. someone here can even be spending time with a, this new person with their kids, having fun. Yeah, that's the truth. It's the swords. It's like whatever, they're, they, what they've been getting is from this person is what they've been complaining about you. About about this connection with you or you are. That's what they're feeling. What's the ten of wands? Some of you guys' bed is under a ceiling fan. Who took karate when they were little? Ten of wands here. Virgo, all the air, um, fire signs is also here. The fire benders, Arian, Leo, Sagittarian. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, when it comes to the swords, yeah, falling all the way back. Someone here is tired. Yeah, they work a lot. And when they have energy, it's low energy. When it's time for sexual energy, it's low. It's not. It's like they're tired. And this person doesn't understand that. And someone here is going to sacrifice a real relationship for, I just want to say, you got to understand the value. I don't, I don't even want to say it like that, y'all. I don't. I don't want to protect myself out on nobody. Yeah, King of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Yeah. Someone here, has, this might be a lesson that this person has to learn or that you're going to have to teach this person, this um, person's lesson about uh, the value of time. There's something about uh, quality over quantity. Damn it. I'm so 
pissed off. This is going to piss you off. This could be a younger person that this person starts to connect to and they're doing all the young things and all the fun things and it's like, yeah, but no, but there's no... Someone here is going to learn, yeah, okay, you might have not have had time to uh, go out a lot or we don't have time to go out and play all the time because we got bills. And they're going to sacrifice this connection on you for someone that has all the time in the world because they ain't got no goddamn job or they don't understand work. Someone here, the balance, you need to pick your battles wisely. There it is. Almighty beautiful, yep, death, uh-uh. Marriage, this could be a divorce. Or a spiritual divorce, a commonwealth divorce, yeah. And someone here, it's like I said, they're they're sexually, they're tired, they don't have time. For some of you guys, this person, you know, their back is turned, they're on their phone, they're online, they're talking to other people, they're connecting with other people. Why are you sleeping? Yeah. They're like, oh, I'm in the house. They're always at work. I'm stuck at home with it. You know, take it how it resonates for you with the kid, with our son, with our daughter. Yep, lost. Calm here. Yep, an adventure. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yep. Someone here likes to call someone sweetheart or something like that. All right. So let's get a message. Aqua area, and if this is someone from your past, now others of you guys, if this is someone new, just know this is what you're going to um, deal with. These are general, so please take what part is for you. Some of you guys might feel this deep down in your spirit. All right, this is an extra on here for it. I look at your pictures for hours on end. You are still beautiful to me. This is someone here that will still look you up online and look at your pictures, honey. Whether you're a man or a woman, you will know, okay? Or if they had pictures of you. Oh, these two came out. I'm afraid that it's too late to turn around and make it right. You are perfect and my eyes don't ever change. We both changed a great deal. Yep, I fear you moved on from me. All right. Okay. We're going to use, uh, for some of you guys, these are Sarah Different, Sarah Tarot LLC. All right, cards right there. If you want to check out her channel, she's a dope reader. You guys know I support other readers on my channel. So check her out. But yeah, this is how this person is feeling, y'all. Or like I said, you know how to, uh, you know where you are in this because this could be you, Aqua Aaron, because you'll cut it off real quick. Yep. Look, new person, I'm not ready. Um, there, this is the end. Yeah, mm -mm. that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I feel unworthy of your love. All right, this is, and like I said, for someone here, there's something over quality and quantity. This is what you're going to have to learn. Yep, I have sexual fantasies about you. This person is still going to uh, fantasize about you and stuff. Someone here is, is like they don't, uh, not going to appreciate what you bring to the table after they lose you. Unfortunately. It happens like that sometimes. Oh, man. All right, let's get some overall messages for you all. For Arian. Oh, my beautiful universe. And Holy Spirit's messages. Arian, for the collective, please. Some of you guys, is, um, you have wind chimes up as well. Or you, your neighbor has wind chimes. And some of you guys, you can see uh, the moon. Or something like that. Now, for some of you guys, you're, you might need to balance out your root chakra. Yes, honey. Marriage. For a lot of you guys, yeah. You got dreams. I feel like for some of you, like I said, seahorses made for life. A marriage show. For some of you guys, this could be a marriage. Um, um, uh, um, whether it's, like I said, a spiritual commonwealth. Or a little marriage that you thought was going to be forever. And it just, it, I just feel like it didn't work out that way. Honor, illusion, and telepathic. Show, wants to show itself as well. Yeah, and obstacles. Yeah, it this, it, 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 you know, you never saw this coming. You know, this is a dream of yours that once was a dream that, you know, the illusions now that's attached to it, it felt its reality. Yeah. And that surprised you. Because you love, you really love this person. 
Okay. For some of you guys, you like, I can't believe this is our reality. All right. Let's get you an oracle message. Mm -hmm. Yeah, support and light. Yep, light mint's coming in. Someone here is going to understand the difference in support. I, I keep hearing immature love. It's like... Alright. Almighty beautiful universe. Holy Spirit. Okay, yeah, support. I told you, yeah, support is here. And then we have breaking free in reverse. I feel like for some of you guys, you, you I, I just feel like at first you're not going to, like, um, it's not going, I told you. This is somebody here before they break all the way this off. They're going to, there. this someone here is going to talk to you and this new person at the same time before they totally, like, just ghost you, cut you off, block this out. Yeah, you need to use your discernment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whoever this person is, this is someone that's already in this person's energy. And they feel like this person supports. But the thing is, they support their illusions. Their, their, their new person doesn't deal with reality. They deal with play. And that's why, the, that's why it's immature. This is like puppy love. This is someone that maybe had kids young that you're connecting with or something like that. Maybe they never, you know, how people who have kids young and they feel like, you know, I never had a chance. And, you know, and they will, like, sabotage a real ass marriage and connection. This is how, I, and, and it's crazy because there's people that's out here like, damn, you know, I'm single. And somebody has everything and they can't even appreciate it. Yep, awareness. You're going to find this out. Spirit's going to tell you this. Yep. And for some of you guys, you are going to accept this and keep this moving. I feel like somebody here is going to, you know, it's going to be fun. And these are short lasts because real life always happens. Yeah, honey, Jupiter. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a big blow up in somebody's face. This is definitely because of marriage, too. And like, or some type of contract you have with somebody. Yeah, Midhaven. And somebody here is like, It's going to be short-lived. This is going to be a, a, a quick couple fun rendezvous. And then you start doing real life or talk about real life. And the other person is going to be like, huh? And that's when it's going to hit this. Yep, I was shit. Oh, my God. This karmic person. Self-note. That they're, they're like what they did. That they literally became a karmic in your life. Child. Yep. Look at this. Yeah. There's a lot, there, this person's going to continue trying to talk to you, find out your number. This is also someone that's going to use other people to do that. Yep, exploration. I can't make this up, Midhaven. Yep, uh, a lot of people, other uh, um, family members, friends trying to figure you out too. Yep, invitation. Because they want you, you know, they want you back. They want an entrance back in your life. After this shit though. So... Mm -hmm. For some of you guys, this could be as simple as you working, doing overtime, doing what you got to do. And someone here um, explores their other options here for play. And then it's, it's going to be short-lived. And they're going to realize they ghost a real marriage, connection, spiritually, whatever, however you want to put it, commonwealth, or left a real marriage for playfulness, getting caught up in their uh, um, emotions. Not dealing with real things. Pentacles. Because, um, you know, emotions. The cup also deals with illusions. And swords. Reality. The truth. Okay. Yes, honey. And they'll go to jail, Uncle Eric, baby. Don't you go to jail, baby. Yep, I'll hurt them. And I'll hurt them on purpose. The karmic. Now they got a karmic that will do things that hurt them. Which karmics do immaturely. Mentally, physically, spells, all kind of mental, emotional spells. Yeah, pride, way too pride. This karmic knows this person still loves you. That's why. And someone here could have dark hair. Okay, Aqua Arian, I hope this helped you out in more ways than in one. All right, guys, don't forget to connect your frequency and your energy is real important into tarot. So you are getting your message in not just this reading, but other readings that you are getting, guys. Okay, they are general, so they're going to resonate with you partly and other times fully. I love you, Aqua Arian. Stay.
dope next video upload. I'll share in eight months.